What's up, everybody? Um, so I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Um, I wanted to make this video um, just something that people have been requesting and something I already know people really wanted to see. Um, those of you with an HP Omen laptop um, or even those that have laptops from a different manufacturer, this may help you out. Um, so as you know, laptops, especially gaming laptops, can run a little bit hot. Um, and that's just due to the fact that they're, you know, compact chassis with, uh, you know, more powerful graphics and um, high grade CPUs in them. So um, outside of just kind of turning your fans up um, as high as they'll go, um, you can do some a couple of things to kind of keep the, con the temperatures under control. One of them being undervolting before I get started. Um, just a disclaimer, I am not responsible for any of your laptops malfunctioning or being becoming bricked as a result of using any of the programs or methods described within this video as always I caution people every laptop even if it's made by the same brand is going to perform a little bit differently um, depending on a number of things all the way down to the silicon for your CPU and GPU just by themselves so um, I encourage you to kind of use this as a little bit of a baseline to find your target performance level um, and you know kind of find out where yours sits at as far as being able to to lower your voltage and keep your performance high so um, as you can see right now I've got the Omen command center pulled up um, just so you can see I actually deleted my throttle stop settings um, so that I could start fresh and have you guys see kind of the changes in real time. So right now I've got it on default mode here in the performance control. That means it's getting the default amount of voltage that um, HP from the factory um, set this to. I've got it on default profile. If you currently have yours and you have an HP Omen laptop and you've got yours set to performance, you will need to set this yours to default um, just so that you don't have any issues. So right now you see my performance is at 58 degrees Celsius for the CPU and 50 degrees for the GPU. And that's without anything else, no games or anything like that running. So, and I don't have max fan on. So. The first thing that you'll want to do is go in, uh, download the program Throttle Stop. The link for this will be in the description below. Um, it's a very small program, and uh, you download it, and then you know it, it opens up, and you're good. So um, I've already got it downloaded, and so I'm going to close this window. And once you download it, you're going when you open it for the first time you're gonna be greeted with this uh, this pop-up and it basically just says that you know you, you can significantly change the performance and heat output of, of many Intel CPUs um, and you know use it at your own risk and so I'm just gonna click OK and also um, you know you always wanna monitor what's going on if, if you're making any changes like that just so you can see kind of in real time what um, what frequencies you're changing um, things like that so all right so as you can see here right now I've got the cores running about 4.1 just been just beneath 4.2 gigahertz um, and that's without having made any changes so um, what you want to do ideally is test to see kind of like run a, a quick little game or something like that and see how long it takes before your CPU ends up dropping down due to heat I've already tested mine so this is really just gonna be a um, a starting point for you to begin testing throttle stop and um, so the gameplay will be coming um, soon but I just wanted to give you guys a starting point first so the first thing that you're going to want to open up is this screen right here. Um, so 
as you can see here, um, you really don't need to change a whole lot here. Um, the, and also you'll see kind of how the frequency steps down, you know, um, or up, whatever, however you want to view it. Um, but it starts at 4.5 gigahertz at the most at the top, and then it goes all the way down to four gigahertz flat. Um, and in order to unlock your adjustable voltage, it's super easy. Um, all you have to do is check that box to unlock your adjustable voltage um, and leave it at adaptive. Um, you don't want to keep, you don't want to put it on static. There's really no reason to. And as you'll see here, the um, offset voltage, you have three different ranges. You got 125 millivolts, 250, and then 1000. For you starting out, you'll want to start with the 125 millivolt setting just to see, you know, kind of what yields you get from that. And um, there's really, you don't really need to change anything else in here um, because some of this stuff can have negative impacts and it's really not needed. So you just change that. I just went ahead and started with a 125 um, millivolt offset right now and you just simply click apply. Now as you're going through these changes, it's important to open up your hardware monitor. And as you can see, just that making that change, um, you can see that before we didn't have any 3.9 gigahertz um, settings um, on any of our cores before. So that may not have been low enough. Um, that which means that the CPU is still getting a little more heat than I would like. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the 250 millivolt setting. And let's just go and I wouldn't recommend going crazy with this too much. Let's try a 150.4 and let's click apply. Now let's go back to the hardware monitor. So with that change, it, as you can see, a majority of the cores are now staying kind of bouncing. Well, actually they're, they're bouncing back and forth a little bit, which means that it's still trying to dissipate some of the heat, but they're more consistently bouncing between 4.1 gigahertz and four. So, which is actually good. So I'm actually going to go in do 160 and I'll click apply. Now, one thing you can also do is when you make those changes in throttle stop, you can actually go and put this in comfort mode. And what that's going to do is it's going to set the um, performance so that it's sending less wattage to the CPU by default anyway. And right away, you can see that instead of going up from, you know, six, towards 60 degrees, it's actually dropping it to 53 degrees in real time. And it will actually continue dropping it even further. But, um, so that is very easy, um, and a very easy step-by-step -step way to just kind of get control of um, of the temperatures. Now, these new HP laptops, um, they did a fantastic job with the cooling anyway. So undervolting this just really um, gives you that much more performance out of it. Um, you know, so if you're playing an intense game like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which really just pulverizes even more modern processors, um, you're going to be able to 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 just kind of have lower a lower temperature um, overall, which is going to yield a um, a higher boost clock for longer, which means that you're not going to see a lot of stuttering and dips in performance um, like you would if you ha had to contend with trying to just simply put up with a lot of heat. Not to mention that it can you know extend the lifetime of your uh, of your computer, which who wouldn't want that? So as you can see now, the temperatures are at 52 degrees, which I like. And let's go ahead and turn on the max fan option. You probably can hear that. Um, 
now we're at 51 degrees and probably going to drop down even further all right so we're at 50 degrees Celsius which is fantastic and the GPU is now at 44 degrees all right so that is pretty good now the next thing that you'll want to do really after making changes like that um, just open up you know a um, a program like a something to something to really push it um, it can be a gaming benchmark it can be video editing software and really just simply run it for a while and see kind of where your CPU bottoms out at um, as far as your processor speed um, it should decrease a little bit just because that's what it's designed to do but um, in most instances you um, especially if you have your max fan option set it really should maintain about 4.1 4.2 gigahertz um, with an occasional dip to like 3.9 but um, most programs and games won't really be affected by that at all um, so yeah that was um, and one other thing that you can do here let's just say you know you don't really want to stair step um, you really want it to just stay kind of locked in um, and not go below a certain frequency you can actually just go up here which I'm gonna do you can set this to say 4.3 let's just leave it at 4.3 and let's take that to 4.3 let's go ahead and click apply all right now one other thing outside of just doing this is um, oh and yeah so you can also um, there are also some settings for integrated graphics um, so but again you really won't have to mess with those so um, you can click OK and then you also can go and check on some of the power limits so right now you see this is a minimum of 45 watts and maximum of 90 watts so you could easily take this and put it at say 75 watts um, you, and just be as with the other settings you don't want to decrease or increase too much too much heat to the CPU or GPU would kind of counteract exact everything you're trying to do with this program so you don't want to go crazy with it so just kind of decrease or increase in, in small increments and see how that affects your temperatures as well as your core clocks now just by um, me decreasing that to 75 watts instead of 90 all of the cores changed to just beneath 4.2 gigahertz and um, I haven't seen one yet go beneath 3.9 gigahertz before you may have seen like um, one drop to close to 800 megahertz or something like that that is no longer happening which means again that you're having more consistent frequencies across the board which is going to equate to more rock solid performance in whatever it is you're doing whether you're gaming running video editing software um, anything that you're doing especially CPU intensive tasks so that is um, just a um, a little bit on how to use throttle stop there are much more intensive guides here on YouTube that you can check out um, one channel that I really love and I wanted to give a shout out to is Bob of all trades um, he's his channel is actually the first one that I actually um, saw throttle stop being used on and he gives you um, a lot of good information and he's got some really cool guides to help you get the most out of the program no matter what um, you know what no matter what laptop um, that you have so I definitely check his uh, his channel out I'll link it in the description below so you can check his stuff out I really enjoy his uh, his content so again just it's about being liberal with your changes test 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 I can't say that enough make a small change test and see what happens with your changes that you made 
download and run your hardware monitor to keep an eye on how things are, are performing after the changes are made and with throttle stop if something happens and you know you get a blue screen if you've done too much um, undervolting or you've jacked the temperatures up too high it's super super simple to revert back to before the changes were made all you have to do is go into the folder that throttle stop was downloaded to and find the INI configuration settings file delete it restart your computer and you can start back from 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 square one so um, for those saying that you know throttle stop will brick your computer um, it's possible but it's extremely hard to do um, and if you mess up you know these modern computers have safeguards built in to try to prevent you um, any way possible from damaging your device so um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this brief but hopefully informative video um, and again, check out Bob of All Trades' channel in the description. Um, you can download Throttle Stop also with the, the link that I'm going to put in the description. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified and see all of my future content that's going to be coming out, which is actually going to be made from what you guys request. So, um, another thing I will be making a patreon soon so that um you know i can get a little bit of support um everybody knows it's a little tough to try to get a channel up to where it needs to be to provide the best quality content so i figured i'd make a patreon and those that wish to support that way certainly can it's not required of course uh, but every little bit helps just so that i can get back into doing what i love to do and make the best content i can for everybody so um yeah so if you enjoyed this give it a like share it if you want to um add your feedback in the comments section below and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video um, i'm going to be doing a pre undervolt gameplay footage video that will also have performance after the undervolt was done just to see if there's any variance and see what kind of benefits you get that won't come in this video just because this was just kind of really a getting your feet wet kind of thing so um tune away and get the most out of your laptop it's free performance so why not so anyways i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and um and i'll see you guys in the next one peace